students say, that's a triangle. Plato would say, think about that. Now, in a triangle, what are the shape of the sides? And I get students to admit that they know that the shape of the sides of a triangle are perfectly straight. Are those perfectly straight? No. So those are not the sides of a triangle. And furthermore, the sides of a triangle should be infinitely thin. These are not infinitely thin because you can see them. Now this is more important. If you take the interior angles of a triangle, they add up to what we call 180 degrees. Now, in ancient Greece, they didn't say 180 degrees, but they would call it some amount. We'll call it omega. So we have a formula that we can write. We can call the three angles, angle one, two, and three. So we will say one, two, three equals this amount that we call 180 degrees, but really is a certain amount. Now here's the interesting thing. Suppose you take a line and put two other lines at right angles to it. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's right angles. Take any line and put parallel lines to it. Then we have two angles, whether they're right angles or these two angles. Those two things add up in both cases to omega. And now Plato says, where did you ever see these things? Where have you ever seen a real triangle with perfectly straight sides that are infinitely thin? You never have. Where have you seen truly parallel lines? You never have. And yet we know that omega in this case is the same as omega in this case. That's because, Plato would say, we know the forms. Our minds are able to see things that are purely abstract. And there's all kinds of wonderful things that come out of this. For instance, the proof that you live forever. But that's a lesson for a different day.